Good evening, good evening everybody. Late as usual, I literally just <laughs> set everything up and came and sat down. So uh, while people are joining, um, there was no announcement this week. Changed my glasses <clears throat> on a thumbnail. So while people are joining, um, I'll just get myself sorted out and ready. Hopefully we're live. Oh, there you go. There's Manic. You are first. Well, you're first on my list. Good evening, Manic. Evening, Flat Cap. How are you? I did tune into your show. Uh, was it Saturday night, Flat Cap? I think it was. And um, <laughs> I got a bit moaned at, so I had to turn you off. <laughs> so I suppose that's the trouble. When we're all... Um, doing our thing in the e-cig industry we tend to get a bit absorbed don't we so uh, who else we've got good evening john i hope you're well john nash evening ian lovely dogs Ian. on your on your what do you call it there it's not a thumbnail is it i suppose it could be good evening lynn oh my phone's on let's turn that off andy media let's just turn that turn that off Andy media why do I get the feeling I should know who that is hmm I've got an idea <laughs> uh, even Shane Shane Foster um, yeah manic I've already said hello to Justin even Justin Ian Morgan I've already said about his lovely dogs why is this saying oh I see I'm with it yeah Yep, got it. Yeah, it's all right. Caught up with the program. Uh, evening in. Yep, I'm there. I'm all good. Yeah, it was a little heavy last Saturday. Yeah, how long did it go on for, Flat Cat? If anyone hasn't seen it, is it going to be every Saturday as well? I'm quite happy for you to put a little plug uh, in my chat and just say yes if it's every Saturday. Um, go and give Flat Cat and, and his friends on the show a little look. Yeah, I thought that was you, Andy. <laughs> Andy Media, as Andy used to work for me, but I wasn't used to seeing Andy Media. And I still actually didn't reply to Andy's message, but he won't take that personally because he knows what I'm like. Um, Mark, here in Mark. Mark to Mark. Hi, Mark and chat. Um, and Curly Chew. Good evening, Ch Curly Chew. Nice to see you as always, well, very often. Uh, was about three hours. Wow, that was flat cap show. Was it? it was three hours? Went on for three hours. Karaki. So what have I been doing? Well, uh, I had a review out this week. I was absolutely astounded. Let's see where we are now because I haven't looked tonight. If it takes me too long to have a look, or I crash something, or do something there. Yeah, it's about. About 2,000 views, I think, on my last review, which absolutely blew me away. I think, I think really, it's this that was on the Smock RPM. I couldn't believe 2,000 views since Saturday night. Unbelievable. And that's that's not all about me. That's I think people are very interested in this little Smock kit. Uh, little pod is it would you call that a pod who in chat thinks has a pod i mean it's got a pod so i guess it is but it just looks a bit too big and severe to be a pod uh yeah thanks andy bloody useless yeah i suppose that sums me up <laughs> at times <laughs> yeah at times yeah, we all have our moments, Andy. I'm sure you might remember one or two of yours. I can't think of one, actually. You must have done something. <laughs> uh, put that over there. Right, so we're be better do what I'm vaping on. What's Flat Cap said? Gaz. Thanks. So, every Saturday, so it's every Saturday at 9pm. Um, shared show between myself. That's right. Put Puffs. Um, and nice guys, just a little bit vapey. Yeah, yeah. So everyone, there you go. It's Saturday night, nine o'clock. If you're bored, <laughs> or even if you're not bored, um, give Flat Cap a look. Um, he's he's doing great things with his reviews. Uh, I think he's doing very well with his 
little diagrams and stuff like that, how we introduce little intros of the product. I think this obviously takes a lot of time. I have got a rough idea of how he does it because he told me. So, but other than that, it's top secret. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's worth worth a look. And Curly Chew thinks it's more more of an all in one. And um, yeah, I get I I wouldn't disagree in a way, Curly Chew. I think it I think it is. Let's have a little vape. I've now had eleven hundred and sixty seven puffs. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Or it might be a bit blurred, but 1167 puffs. It's very good, I think, for one of them. Uh, Shane, pods or all in ones are the, are the in thing, Mark? That'll be why you've had the views. Yeah, I suppose they are, Shane, but it's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a lover in a lot of cases. I mean, I've had several sent to me i've had i mean this thing came the smock novo 2 which they sent me a whole load of um you know the pods for it and two or three of these it's themselves but got their rank i think they rank so i look inside we chucking it about yeah I and mean, you can see how much i like that i, I just haven't vaped anything out of it but saying that there they're quite cheap. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that is naff. Really naff. <coughs> you get nothing out of it and it makes you cough. <laughs> um, this one wasn't bad. The I got one from Sense a long time ago. That was, that was pretty good. I mean, that's sat there dormant now. So that's not bad, it hasn't really leaked, I don't think. And a lot of them do when they sit to one side. So no, that, that's one of the better ones. And of course the the Nord. So I mean two smart products, the Novo 2, which I think is awful, and the Nord, which is pretty good, but the Nord has got a fire button. So yep, there you go. Uh, Michael, good evening. Um, evening, Kieran. Um, Salford, David, how are you? Nice to see you all. So, yeah, and that was the, the kit there. And I don't know when they're going to be available in the UK. Not for a little while, but um, we, we will get them. And I'll stock them as well, because at last I found a, a pod or an all-in-one with convenience pushing coils that... I actually can put my name too on the site, so I think I think they're good. Andy Harris, notification fail, but Mark and Chad. <laughs> uh, there's a good reason the notification failed. It's because I didn't notify. Um, sorry, that's my fault. Been a really crazy busy week this week. And uh, that's other people just hold one for me. What's up? One of these, Andy. You want me to hold you one? One of the smock. I mean, it's. I said in my review that historically I've not liked smock coils. They've always given vapor but no flavor. But this does both. And I've had a new juice in there as well. I've been. It's a. Uh, it's called Udderly Hazelnut. I've given that a go. I did have. Our bakewell tart in it, the true juice bakewell tart. But I tried some utterly the hazelnut. It's quite nice. Righto, Andy. So yeah, as soon as they're available, we will have them. The other juice by utterly is a. There's two others actually, strawberry, and I think they do a vanilla, which I've mislaid. I've put somewhere. So yeah, that's that's me caught up. I, I did did that review Saturday, uh, late on Saturday, um, and just there wasn't <laughs> as usual not much editing, but just did the the review. In fact, that's an interesting point. If you ever want to gauge anyone's YouTube videos, when you think, you know, you, you see 
<laughs> I love it with coil building. I'll do it all the time. You see someone building a coil, and then all of a sudden, it looks like you're struggling with the coil or the wick. And then all of a sudden, it's, it's perfect. It's gone in. You think, well, that must have been a jump cut. Just for fun, if you see one like that, just go into your YouTube settings and put it on a slow, as slow as you can, and you'll actually see the jump cut. So it's a bit of fun if anyone wants to see who who the coil builders are, if you like. I mean, I tend not to do any cuts in my reviews at all, and, you know, sometimes I make mistakes, but I, I leave those mistakes in there normally so you can see i always think if i've made the mistake you know you could make the same and let's work it out together type of thing so what else am i vaping on i'm on the true tank and andy's in chat he's i hope he's still using his true tank and i've got that on the tacket mini that's um a little 18 350 another one of these little um sort of it's got it's got the little chip in there what well, MOSFET, that's the word I'm looking for. So I've been vaping on that and I've got in there the mango, peach and papaya. And another new product sent through to me to have a look at is actually a, a, a copy um, of the, what is it, the RSS mods? Yes, yeah, Sunbox. Uh, it's an SXK one, but it's all right. But uh, it's very often with these like side by side mods, it's never or well, very seldom quite right with the height of the tank you're using. And unless you're lucky that your favourite tank is that height, then you know that they're, they're not quite right. That's my opinion, anyway. Let's put Kieran's comment up. I, he started with I jump cut, so I've got to have a look and see what he says. I jump cut because if I did not, the video would be an hour long. Sometimes I have to get so close to see what I'm doing. Old eyes. Yeah, I mean, it says old eyes. I, I can, I can sympathise with that. But yeah, try it though, Kieran. Have a look at other people. You might not be as bad, if you like, as you think you are because I've seen some quite horrendous examples where you, you all of a sudden see that you think well that wick's not going there and all of a sudden it's perfect and you think how do you do that <laughs> Salford um, let's put his comment up he, he'll only get crabby otherwise a grumpy old man David is very often um, nature vote best way to show the mistakes and how easy or hard it is I leave mine in because I have dexterity problems and many older vapors do yeah so and, and I know you do actually, David. You you often um, leave yours in, and uh, what's it? You I think it was the Alexander. You couldn't take the lid off, but you didn't pause it or stop it. You showed how hard you found it to do it. Um, so yeah, I know. Yeah, David's one one of the few that doesn't do too many jump cuts. It's too much hard work as well, isn't it, David? Let, let it roll. <laughs> Um, Matt Benson, I take all my coiling tips from the master, Jay Hayes. Hmm, is there, is there some sarcasm in there? <laughs> Don't know, not sure. Um, Iggy, hi all, tried the new 88 vape plastic disposable subo mesh tank. No, Iggy, I haven't, oh, Bob, I personally haven't. I don't like, um, these disposable tanks much. I just... I've got a thing about plastic and being chucked away. It's bad enough with all these bottles all the time that, you know, these, I don't know, I could, I could be wrong. It might be more environmentally friendly to make plastic chuck away tanks than it is to make RTAs, but I, I can't see how. Um, yeah, or the coils, I suppose. The coils are, have got bits in, but I don't know. It just seems to me... Whether I'm right or wrong, I, I haven't stocked them any of these. Uh, what's the other one? Preco. Um, it's, apparently, they, they vape quite well. But it's just the thought of a a tank, when you finish with it, 
chuck it and I just think there's enough wasted plastic I don't like it um, so sorry Iggy I'm not being confrontational that's what this show's all about you know and if, if it's discussing things and if you, if I'm wrong <laughs> tell me I, I don't mind I'm quite happy to be told I'm wrong um, Asphod Asphodel and I've got his name right yes well done me also, many reviewers seem to put their cameras in weird places where it impedes their field of view or even prevent direct vision. Yeah, and Asphodel, that's a good point, but I've I've tried all sorts of ways. I mean, probably the best camera work I've seen for doing coil builds is probably Mark, TVP. Um, but I don't quite know how he does it. Apparently, he's got his camera here because I did I spoke to him about this one day he's got his camera here and he builds around it with his arms around it with a camera between him and his arms I don't know how he does that I really don't so I tend to have I mean my setup here if the room weren't such a mess I would show you <laughs> I've got a camera there which is my table cam which if I flick onto that you'll see what I mean I'll just add it so it's half so that's my table cam um, get rid of that there and then I've got my face cam which I actually want to change this is a Logitech C930 I have got a Canon 80D but I don't like using it with the uh, this thing called the cam link that you can use I've got a video um, camcorder on the table cam, which is why I can zoom in and out easily. But I don't like using the Canon 80D as a face camera because it gets so hot with the cam link. And I don't think DSLRs are really designed to run with a cam link. I, I don't think they are. But I would like to find a solution. The one that, you know, if I go up to here, it just doesn't focus very well. So I would like to find one that does. So anyway, I'm waffling. As usual. Um, where did I get to? Where did I... Oh, it was Asphodel, wasn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, that's my opinion. Curly Chew, not seen the Miggy. Um, Matt Benson, just a tad. Don't know what that was. I'll try next time, <laughs> Kieran. I'll try next time with a... <laughs> Yeah, let's put that one out. I'll try next time with a certain RTA to do no jump cuts, so bring your popcorn. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Kieran, I know the tank Kieran's talking about, and I've done a review with that tank, and I watch it on slow-mo, Kieran, I did no jump cuts. That was just done on the table, on the in front. And I sort of move my chair here to do it. That's all I do. Um... What else have we got? I don't... Oh, evening, Fiona. Nice to see you. Sorry there was no notifications. Asphodel, I put my camera about 20... So, let's put that one up there. Didn't put him up last time, did I? I put my camera about 20 centimetres above and never have any issues. I don't review tanks or mods, though. Just modify, stroke, fix them. I had, don't think... Oh, it's, are you just on Twitch? Asphodel, if I don't think I've seen any of your videos and you've watched me for some time. So if it if you have done YouTube video, I'd like to see one. So it'd be nice. Um Kieran, I try the POV, POV, POV point of vision. Anyway, style. So as I build, it's what you would see when you're building. Oh, point of view, I suppose that is. Um yeah, and that's that's about all you can hope for. I mean, I tend to have mine slightly in front, aiming towards me. So I guess I'm getting the opposite view. But otherwise, my hands are in the way. But maybe we all need to go on a camera course. <laughs> um, ah, free the mind. Good evening. I know you don't make them anymore, but... Do you think you could do a video showing how you made the flangeless cartos? Uh, Andy in chat will tell you how to do that. Um, he's made his fair share as well. 
The flangeous ones, we bought all the spare parts to make those, but the it we did we've run out now basically of of stock anyway, but and you can't get them anymore. But they were actually quite a complicated build to do. Um, if you've got one, you need to take the top end and just punch through the tube and you should get the whole guts come out and you will see how to rebuild that yourself if you want to. Um, I was just saying hello to Fiona. Johnny Boy Edwards, you boring old sod. Hmm, well, thanks for that. And <laughs> if I am, I am. <laughs> Hopefully he's joking. If he's not, well, he's not. Uh, where else do I get to? I don't think... Oh, yeah. Asphodel. Now I stream games. Oh, right, sometimes on Twitch, but I keep my vape stuff on vape tube. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Iggy, let's put that one up. Smock Nord with 0.6 mesh coil is very good. If you take the black cap off the pod, it stops liquid building up in the battery. So I'm like, oh, that's the wrong one. I need to throw that one in the bin. So I've got the Nord here, and I think that's the 0.6... Take the black cap off the pod. What black cap? Oh, I see. Take it off? I'm not sure what you mean, Iggy. Sorry. Um, I've got one here. But the only black here, you've got the black bung and you've got the black top. But other than that, not entirely sure what you mean, but be interested. Whoops, I'm not going to screen everywhere. Be interested to know. Maybe I'm being thick. It's happened, been known to happen before. Uh, oh, Niggy again. If you carefully pull silicon bung out of pod, it increases to 3 mil capacity. No, okay, I'll have a look into that, Iggy. See if I can work out what you mean later. Um, bom, bom, bom. and Salford nature I use two cameras and my hands are still <laughs> yeah I've noticed you do that David you're sort of doing a, a bit of a Vic vaping with Vic he does the same he's got like a split shot um, but yeah I've noticed you trying the two cameras and even as a viewer I thought about doing that myself but even as a viewer you're sometimes not sure which camera to look at i think that can be just as confusing but it's not an easy one is it it's not an easy solution at all <laughs> johnny boy edwards i was joking we love you that's what i thought i did i thought he's won't be being mean to me why be mean <laughs> we ain't got a thumbs down yet folks we're doing well and i had to laugh the other week when i said you missed last week's show, you better catch up. I think the did, I think it went back and put the thumbs on it, so whoever it was. Um, Jay Jerry. Good evening, Jay Jerry. Put that on the screen. I think market is changing. Rebuilding stuff going to be few and far between as pods and disposables are more simple to use and cheaper, so they make more profit than rebuilding stuff. Yeah, I mean, the... the from the point of view of the manufacturer, they love selling pods because they get to not only sell you the, the pod kit, they get to sell you more pods. A bit like, you know, some of the stock coil tanks, like a Spy, for example. And they get to sell coil after coil. It's an ongoing thing, isn't it? So, and I get that. There's the thumbs down. <laughs> so, I get that. That's fair enough. But um, from a from your point of view, the, the person that's actually vaping, surely a, a rebuildable doesn't get any cheaper. I know you have to buy the odd wire, but, um, you know, that's all. I have another vape on that one. 
Um, where were we? Two thumbs down. I, I'm going to stop talking about thumbs down because I think people are doing it just for fun. Um, I obviously missed. I checked it. Oh, yeah. That's a point as well. And I don't mind giving that a plug on here. Salford, David, uh, has started his own forum. So, yeah, hopefully that, that works well for you, David. And as he just says, let's put him up there. Uh, flat cap, very early days yet, but hoping it takes off. Yeah, so there you go. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, have a look at David's forum and, and get involved. And also, David, congrats. A thousand subs. Well done. I was watching you on the... Um, what is it? Three Men in a Vape? That's what your, your show is, isn't it? Uh, it's nice to see you all back, Simon and Aiden. So, yeah, it was good. But noticed you got to a thousand subs. Actually, talking of which, I'm nearly 3,000. I think I turned 2,900 last week. So, yeah, it'll be a big number coming up for me, hopefully, very soon. And Iggy, use a screwdriver, slowly tweak it off. Are you talking about the actual, the, the very top? Uh, where is it? Let's get it back again. Are you talking about taking this piece off here and then taking the silicone out from inside? I think that's what you mean. Just say yes. <laughs> I'll know. Uh, manic. Put that comment up there. I prefer the Nautilus 2's tank with the 0.7 mesh. Uh, yeah, and I, I wouldn't disagree with that, Manic. That's a, a decent coil. It is a decent coil. Lion Tribe 79, cheers from Florida. Well, nice nice to have you watching us. Florida, Florida, they had some funny weather lately, haven't they? Is that Florida? I think so. Um, oh, here we go. J. Jerry, remove mouthpiece on naught. Let's put that up there. Let's put that up there so other people can see. Remove mouthpiece on Nord. There's a TPD rubber stopper. Right, got you. Because... I wondered how they were going to do that as well for the RPM and probably I ought to have a look because I thought you can't make the pod because they're going to do a UK, you know, two mil one. You can't make the pod any shorter because it's got to hit the contacts inside. So it's got to be the same physical size. So I guess... That's what they're going to do with that as well. Is they're going to put a silicon bung in the top. And if they do, and they're removable, happy days. Uh, <laughs> Kieran, yeah, here comes the thumbs down. <laughs> um, yeah, evening Pav, how are you? Uh, J Jerry, a pod kits is cheap, is cheap versus RTA and mod. Yeah, but is it, J. Jerry? It's a bit like, you know, the initial cost, yes, is cheaper, definitely. But, I mean, I've had this True Tank now for, well, since it first came out. It is my original True Tank. So all I've ever done in that is put wire and cotton wool in it. So I had, it can't get any cheaper than that, can it? It can't. Pods, you have to keep buying, buying the pods. But I, I I know the initial investment is less, so what you're saying, I guess, is that it takes a fair while to catch up. I don't know. Um, Iggy, J. Jerry, yeah. I like the Nord, and it's much better with black cap off and silicon bung out, trust me. Right, well, I'll give that a, a look, Iggy, I will, because I've got one here, so I can try that. Neil Roberts, um, good evening Neil, just popped in to say hello to everyone, nice to see you. And thanks for me, you're welcome David, I always give you a plug, I don't mind that, you know, it's, as far as I'm concerned in this industry, we should all be helping each other, that's the way I've always been, and there's too much bitchiness in general in this industry, let's just help each other, it's all, for me, it's, a, it's about 
not smoking, surely. And if someone knows about something that's really good, like Iggy is just trying to help, let's share the share the knowledge. <clears throat> yeah, very true, Matt. Let's put that one up there. Cause, and I forgot, congrats to uh, Flat Cap as well, Gaz. He did. He just, he just hit a thousand as well. So, would you, if you, for anything like when I hit one of the bigger numbers, it goes like 999, 1000, then you lose one, you're back to 999 again. But, you know, you, you get there, you get there. And it's funny, um, Gaz, so I will say to you if you're still in chat, once you hit the thousand, you tend to grow from that thousand quite, quite quickly. It's the hitting the thousand that's hard. And the same for you, David, I think. So you might see now that all of a sudden your numbers tick up. Whether that's to do with YouTube, putting your uh, videos out there for people to see a bit more, I don't know. Don't know. And Shane, let's put Shane's comment up there. Uh, I've had that many pods, so decided to buy the Inican Adept with... How do you pronounce that? Zlide, I suppose. Tank. Well impressed so far. Right, okay. Well, I haven't tried that one, actually, Shane. But I have heard it's it's good. So, that's very good. And, Jay Jerry, my thoughts are for people using... Let's put it up there. Put it up there. My thoughts are for people using pods when they're cheaper. What would make them start buying RTAs if a new pod is cheaper? Um, yeah, a new a new pod would be yeah would be cheaper. That's that's what I've said, Jay Jerry. I'll, I'll try to argue with you. <laughs> a, a pod is is cheap. You know, you buy like this this thing here, but I wouldn't buy this one, the Nova Two. Is it Nova? Novo Novo Two. Um, the actual pod, yes, is cheap, but you still need a decent vaping experience, and I believe this smock gives you that and what I liked about it as well is that you've got two pods one that takes the Nord coil and one that takes their new RPM coil so you if you've got a Nord already those coils aren't wasted you can use your Nord coils straight in here so I like that as well and John and keep buying Mark's coil for the true tank. Yeah, I mean, and I, I guess yeah. With even with an RTA, if you're buying buying the little Clapton coils, what like about three quid a tin? So six coils. The coil lasts me about a month, I suppose. I mean, you can't moan at that, surely. Asphodel. There's rebuildable pods now. They tend to have fragile plastic pieces. That can very easily force you to buy new RBA pods, namely the Jester. Right. And also, you know, it's quite nice, like the, the Arbery Pal as well, Pal 2. When I was using one of them, I had two or three pods laying around. Because once I've got one flavour in one, I didn't really want to, <laughs> you know, keep washing it out. So I just kept, if I had like the favourite flavour, I would just keep topping that up. Ooh, really in. Let's put that one up there. Mark, I've got the new Dwarf. Is it Dwarf? I never know how to pronounce that. You can all read it. Direct Lung, stylish version, great wee RTA. Superb. Good. I'll have to have a look at that one. And uh, David, put that one up there. Uh, just got the new Org Vape Merlin Nano. First day with it, but it seems okay. Just a bit worried about the airflow inserts. Right, okay, David. I haven't. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Did I? I think I've seen pictures, but I haven't really seen much about it. Uh, Coil Pro B. Good evening. Sup, Mark. <laughs> Everyone saying, I'm, oh, I'm not far behind today. Well done, me. <laughs> um, oh, right. So, and 
Kieran had the same concern, so he's passed on it. That's fair enough. Yeah, he is David Gaz. He's killing it with the subs. He's flying. But there's a reason he's flying. And, you know, and I'm, not, I'm not saying this against you or anyone else. The effort he's put in, he's doing something a bit different, isn't he? You know, a bit like, I mean, you are as well, David, with your, you know, your, your squeeze box. It's not a squeeze box, is it? It's a harmonica. Um, but, you know, it's in, and it's different things. I mean, I don't do a lot different, do I? I just do, I think, whenever you've got a channel, you've got to be yourself, haven't you? And, and hopefully that's what I try and do. I, I'm, I try and just be me. And if people like what they see, they like what they see. If they don't, they don't. And they move on. Um, I don't know, sorry, Andy. Are there, and Salford, hi. Oh, right, okay, that's in, in chat. Um, comments. Uh, <laughs> yeah, David says he's hopeless with chat. Yeah, and so am I, David. I'm absolutely rubbish. <laughs> Try and, try and keep up. Um, oh, thanks, Kieran. Love Nature Vapes coils. Uh, I was hoping that um, MF was going to be in chat tonight because I sent him his new juicer. What to know what he thought of it? But he's he's obviously not in tonight. Uh, Jay Jerry again. I don't plastic stuff with sunflower. They yeah, and they don't. You're right. JJ, they, they don't like um, sometimes a flavour. It's very hard, especially if you contrast it. It's all right if you stick with, say, a fruit like raspberries and then go with one, another one similar. But if you change flavour dramatically in a pod, you, you very often can't get rid of the original flavour, like a strong tobacco, for example. Pav, what's Pav? Pav doesn't say a lot. Let's see what he's got to say. <laughs> Mark, I've been buying your coils for quite some time. Very decent for the price. From tiny mouth to lung, single claptons to chunky aliens, right, which I like. Oh, thanks, Pav. That's nice of you to say that. Yeah, we do We do try. There's some, some new mouth to lung coils on the horizon, actually. Uh, some new specs. So, in addition to what we already do. So, I'm looking forward to them. And some other new coils, too. What else have we got? Sulfur, the Smoant Pasito as an RBA you can purchase. I've got it and it works well. Oh, right, okay. The Yes, I know it has. The, the Smoant. I I moved away from Smoant. I found their mods, especially. Um, I know they're quite sort of quite cheap and cheerful. And I know some people have no issues with them at all. But from a stockist point of view, we got so many back, I decided to... To stop some of them, you need, you know, you expect a certain amount of faulties, but you need some reliability as well, don't you? Uh, as for the, the Merlin Nano air holes, are swappable, but they are very loosely held in by an O ring. The wick holds it okay, though. If you wick it like what? Oh, you, why do you keep saying that word? How do you pronounce it? Someone please tell me. <laughs> I always call it, what I call it a dwarf, and it's not, is it? I don't think. As for that, that piece reminds me of the lock RDA, uh, I believe it was, where you could lock in the notch. Yeah, I, mean, I had a bit of, um, put that one on the screen, I had a bit of an involvement with that lock RDA, with the design of that. So, uh, and yes, you're, you're right, it was, you put it in like a 13 amp fuse. Uh, you're quite right, actually, there was. Asphodel, when you sit them in, they still move about. You can only lock in place when you've whipped it. it makes me wonder if it will come loose and short. Right, okay, well, obviously the, I, haven't, I haven't seen that, so... <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Pav again, he's ordered himself another true tank for myself today. You know I love that tank. Yeah, I met Pav at Expo and it it was just lovely to meet someone and he sat there and he's and his weapon of choice was a true tank. It was lovely. So it's nice to see. 
Oh, I'm not pr- far out then. Asphodel says it's dwarf. Oh, I suppose dwarf, but I'm not far out. I'll keep calling it a dwarf. That'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks, Pav. He likes his true tank. And we've now, oh, we've sold. Haven't got that much stock left, actually, of the true tank. So I must get in touch with them, make sure that they're not going to phase it out. We can't get any more. Let's have another vape on this. What else am I vaping on as well? One more thing. Is in here. I don't know if you can see that. It's the crossbow. Uh, it's an SXK style crossbow in the billet box. They are actually now on, on the site as well. It's good this. I like this. Uh, let's have a little vape on that one. Probably the best sound like a Carlsberg advert. Probably the best mouth to lung setup I've had in a billet box. To be honest, this crossbow. Um, this is now in its third tank full. Without me taking the the borrow tank out, and hopefully you can see that there. I've had no leaks. And that's running at a huge 13 watts. And what have I got in there? A 1.08 ohm coil. And I haven't really got any any condensation on the inside of the panel either, which is unusual, which you often get with the billet box. Um, will I be doing a, a review of the crossbow? Oh, I'm not sure because they're a bit funny with YouTube reviewing copies and clones aren't they but what I would say is although the vaping experience is good and you get a, a you see this this black piece here it's like a plastic insert that fits nicely under the borrow tank and you've got slight airflow sliders that fit in the side I've got the the tightest one that you can get in there um, so I like it from that point of view, but the, the coil is a bit of a, a little bugger to to get. I've got a Clapton coil in here, and it's you know it's not impossible, but it's quite a tight space, and it's it's not it's not the easiest. But you know, for me, I think once it is set up, it's, it's good. Now, what have I missed? J. Jerry again. Some reviewers won't touch pods. Say RTA is the only way for best mouth to lung, but now pod have got better. Yeah, pods have got better. They are sort of catching up. Um, I think the trouble is that the reason that you're saying some reviewers won't touch pods. I know as a as an online shop, I am inundated every day. I must get three new pods offered to me. And it is that many. Pod after pod after pod. And you're like, oh, no, go away, go away, go away. And m my reply, if I speak to any of my people I buy from, is always the same when they offer me a pod. I tell them, if, if you've got something different, unusual or exceptional, I will look at it. But I'm not going to look at it if it's just another pod. Oh, there's no point. And that's exactly what I told Spock. Um, before they sent me this one and she said yeah I think you'll you know this is different and I said send it then I'm fine I'll happily have a look and she was right but most of them are just they're so samey and there's so many of them and you know you've got a I can see in in the months to come the amount of people are going to moan they've bought a pod and you can't get the coils or the pods for them anymore and you know I, I can see that happening and it, you know, it's it's going to annoy people. I know it is. Asphodel, come on, up you get. Comment, that's the way. Jay Hayes kind of nailed it. Only reviewing pods with Bree, which is more comfortable than used to them. Pods, it's different, I guess. Uh, I I don't. I watch some of Jay Hayes's 
uh, reviews. I don't watch that many, if I'm honest. Um, but I do watch some. But I haven't seen him review pods, I don't think. But I don't watch him regularly. And Lynn, are you going to do a review of the crossbow? Um, I, I, yeah, I think I just answered that, Lynn. That I think I might struggle with YouTube because aren't they? They're going a bit funny with people reviewing clones and copies. I guess I could do it on on the other. Uh, oh, what's it called? <laughs> you know, right? Um, vape tube. <laughs> I can't remember it. Could do it on there, or I could do it on. You know one of these lives and and just have a bung it in 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 the middle or something like that i could do so i'll see if i can do something lynn there, there might be quite a few people interested in that let's have another little vape on it oh wow i didn't realize that pav let's put that on, up on there my first true tank is a stainless one the serial number 316 how good is that i've still got in a box um zero 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 one i think it's three was there three zeros i can't remember what's this number on here <coughs> Oh, you aren't going to believe this, Pav. <laughs> Just clean the bottom of that so you can see. You got 316. I had to look twice. I don't know if you can see it, can you? Oh, come on, focus. Wait a minute. Let's see if I can put it on this one. I'll just add it. That'll do. Add. Get it lined up. Can you see that? 315. <laughs> How bizarre is that? And this was probably the one I was using uh, when I saw your expo. So it was like one after the other. And I had no real say in those the numbers of the tank when I ordered them. Obviously, I got the first batch. But you'd pick one out. They can't come in big outers of a hundred i think it's a hundred tanks per outer no it's 200 i think tanks per outer you put your hand in for one and you'll you'll get serial number 315 the next one be 43 so they were all dotted around there was no order to them i couldn't even have a half a guess to give someone the the right one ah coil probe i'm glad you brought that up Mark, did you ever get the tripod RTA? Any spare wink? Any spare wink? Anyway, yes, I did. <coughs> Alton. I set this up. I spent ages. Here it is. A tripod RTA. I spent ages with it. And... <laughs> It took me a little while to to find out how to open it. Come on, get that arrow around the right place. Well, why won't I? Why can't I get this to the right place? Come on, a bit more. It's just opening the top. Anyway, I think this is going to take too long for me to try and open that. Is it? Ah, there you go. On there. us out right there's my build in the top but let's see if i can find something to put behind there my hand will do won't it there's my build in the top all i was getting from this and nothing was touching an insulator or anything was a burning plastic from it, it like an insulator was getting too hot and I just could not get rid of it. I stripped the whole thing down. Um, put every, took every, and believe you me, there are a lot of parts to this. I don't know if you stripped yours down, uh, Coil Proby. But there's so many parts to it. I had them all in a, you know, in a cleaner. I cleaned everything. I put it all back together. And I was still getting that burnt... 
I think I've moved that wick actually, trying to get it out just then, or that coil, sorry. Have I got anything? Let me bung this on. <coughs> See if I still get it. There's not a lot of battery in there. Yeah, like a burnt plastic taste and even smell from it when it, trying it without a wick. So, new coil. Let's put this down at 13 watts will do. Because it's a 1.19 ohm. You can actually see it burning. Yeah, stinks. Burnt plastic. So whether I've got a faulty one or what, I don't know. But, yeah. And you could... Every time I did it, you get like this burning off one of the it smokes off one of the terminals so yeah I got one but it didn't work for me so I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it though because I meant to tell everyone and Iggy does anyone know where I could get the OBS engine nano single uh, I don't think you will get one now to be honest Iggy um, I might have one laying around. I'll have a look. If I do, I'll uh, next time I do a show, I'll I'll put it up. Pav, I think so too. I don't know what. Sorry, Pav, I must have missed something there. And Asphodel, the age of pods. I think I think Asphodel's got it. pod fixation, and yeah, <laughs> I'm only teasing you. Put that back on there. Uh, the age of Pods is starting to fade out, it seems. We're getting into a new age of... Yeah, all-in-ones. And, and they are becoming a bit more of an all-in-one now. I think the pods are... Please. <laughs> Fading out. I hope they are. <laughs> uh, Iggy. Um, Second-hand market, as far as I know. It's a, oh, he's... he's um, yeah, he's, he's talking to Iggy. Sorry. Yeah, second hand market. I might have one laying around, Iggy, like I say, I'll 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 have a look. Uh yeah, thanks Kieran. Vape tube. You know what I'm like, I forget these things, don't I? <laughs> two tanks in a pod. Evening Merc. Um I don't know what you mean, two tanks in a pod. And let's put E-Sig Warehouse say they have the engine nano in stock, but I don't use them, so I don't know how good they are. Well, I can tell you, esigwarehouse.co.uk is a Chinese website, and if you get it at all, you will be waiting a long, long time. Uh, I actually fell for that once, and I ordered from them, and it took weeks for me to get my... It had been quicker to order from... Fast Tech or Gearbest, one of the ones we know well. But yeah, funny site, esigwarehouse.co.uk. A um, bit slippery to put the impression in that you're a UK site and they're not, they're Chinese. So there you go. <coughs> think, <laughs> God, probably 315, I think, perhaps you Mark rigged that, I'm kidding. Yeah, I mean, no, we didn't rig it. It was, um, I was, I was quite shocked as well. And call probably any spare tribal. I'll give nature a donation of a donation of what you think. Yeah, I mean whether someone else makes the tripod as well. I've done that. It's not just Alton, but anyone else get that burnt from it? I don't know. Um, and Merck, have that burnt in the lead in the metal. I'm not sure what you mean. It's um. Oh, I see. You mean it It burnt when I showed it, do you mean? But it's... I think it's coming from one of the, the insulators, which in theory should be peak, but if it is, they're not, are they? Because it's... Uh, that wattage, it shouldn't puff, you know, with with almost like smoke like that. It's, but it's it's nasty, honestly. I voted for like, oh my God. You know, it's it was a, a real burnt plastic taste. And... The funny thing is that the insulator doesn't look burnt. It, it's quite weird. And Lane, hi Mark, didn't realise you were on. Hope you're well, mate. Yep, I'm very well, thank you. 
yeah my uh my back has good days and bad days but at the minute it's okay and eee, put that up there hey mark what coils do you use in your true tank i use the, uh, very often the little canthal uh, clapton coil that's on on the site i think it's 1.17 ohms but it actually comes out for me a little bit less than that about 1.07 very often but yeah that's the one i use you want the two and a half mil diameter one for the true tank i think i think it's better so next comment i've just started to read from rasper let's put that up there it must be a faulty one the tripod is the tank of the year by far i have the authentic and the alton and my alton is pretty good god knows why you also yeah and i don't know either i mean i've rasper you, you know i've been making building rtas for for donkeys haven't i and I've I've never had one confuse me like that, and I, I was actually disappointed because I, I really wanted to try it, but you, you can smell it. So yep, maybe I should just buy the buy the authentic. Have done with it. Oh, that's a good question. Mark, Mark, two marks. Mark to Mark. Any reason why you don't stock the, the you will? Uh, I've been after a black soul soul keeper for a while but i only use a couple of uk online stores and none of them seem to have it i know that steve at sr vapes stocks a lot of um you will uh i've there's no reason why i don't because i actually think they're a good company and it's just one of those ones that slipped through the net i guess at the time when they were first coming out with the crown and Everything I was sort of late to the party and I, I didn't stock them and I did have a, a conversation with them and you know it almost seemed they wanted a big order and I thought well I'm not prepared to put a, a really big order through with them um, when I'm sort of late on the product so and I just never did really catch up from that but I know Steve at SR like I say he likes his you uh, all products so i don't know if he's got it or not uh, but he's a nice chap get in touch email him or something he might even know where there is one he's very helpful i got on well with steve it's funny you there are some you know even though we're competitors i guess you know it's still nice to get on well with people when you can <laughs> Very good for you, let's put it up there. <laughs> Maybe it's not from Alden, it's a smoke. <laughs> not a smock. Very good, very good humour. <laughs> Kieran laughed as well. There you go, Pav. Let's put it up. Pav's reinforcing what I said, I think. Um, don't do not use eSig Warehouse, it'll be quicker to order from China. Yeah, replicated exactly what I said. And, and you know, I'm... I've got a website and the business and I fell for it. So, you know, Iggy, I don't blame you for not realising that. But, yeah, so it's, it's snidey, isn't it? I don't like it. So, massive thumbs down to eSigWarehouse.co.uk. Kieran, do not use eSig Warehouse. Oh, Rasper, they are UK, just drop ship from China. Well... <laughs> They're still China then, really, aren't they? Yeah, okay. The the U the site might be in the UK, but and drop ship from China. So what's that been run from some sort of bed site, uh, bed Do you know what I mean? It's no. I, sorry, Ras, but you won't convince me of that one. And Iggy, yeah, thanks for that, Olive Void. Yeah, I mean, it's like I say, I'm not saying they're they're dodgy or anything like that but i and i did get my product but i just waited forever for it and i felt a bit conned when i perhaps didn't i just want i can't even remember what it was I thought, oh they got one because as soon as a new product comes out they, they advertise it straight away 
and you think, oh, they've got one in the UK as well, bang. And then you wait and you wait and you wait and you think, oh, yeah, they fell for it. I know why now. Uh, Lynn says that Gearbest say they have it in stock. There you go. Alton Flashy Vapor Super. Alton Flashy Vapor Super. Alton Flashy Vapor. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, do you mean who's got this? the tripod? I think I've got mine from 2F Vape, I think. Is it 2F? And Rasper, the tripod's the best flavour I've had from any tank in my whole five years of vaping. Yeah, I mean, I've heard other people say it's really good, Rasper, which is why I wanted to give it a go. But uh, anyone else in chat tried it? Um, ooh, what's this, Kieran? Mark, one for you to have a look at is the Diamond Mouth to Lung RTA from Danvape. I'll have a look at that then. Have you got one then, Kieran? See, Kieran, I there are some people you respect their views and some people you don't. I do respect Kieran's views and opinions. He's a knowledgeable man. Not that I'm saying anyone else in chat isn't. <laughs> I actually use the true drip tip on my tripod. All <laughs> right, okay. That's a bit of a. I've always said it. That's like a marmite drip tip. Love it or hate it. Dean Devil Vapor. Good evening, Dean. How are you? Nice to see you in chat. And Dean, we must get in touch. Get you on the show one night. Uh, I'm quite happy, you know, to, to do the odd one on my own. It's always nice to have a bit of company. So I'll, as long as you've got Skype, I can bring you on one week. And while I'm talking about that, there will not be a show next week, folks. I'm having the, the website. There's two two things here in one statement, really. And... Dean, if, if uh, you know, if you've got a big audience, you know, it'd be nice if, if, if you let people know as well, if you hear the question. Um, next week, we're having the, the website upgraded. We're on Magento and we're on the version one, which we sort of kept going, but it's getting very slow and clunky. We need to go up to the next version and there is a, a lot of work in upgrading that so next week there'll be no show on tuesday and next week the website will be down for the week as well so there'll be no anyone who wants to order anything order it before friday lunchtime um, and they'll get sent but after that we're then blitzing the site we're going to upgrade it to its new new format and hopefully fingers crossed all will go well so yeah stressful week ahead i think uh croatia gunner hello again uh you've been on before because i wondered if you were an arsenal supporter but yeah good to see you live yeah nice to see you too um right what's it Merck said here that burn thing the tripod clone might be arcing on the terminal. Bad contact. Metal shaving. Try different screws. Okay, I'll have a look at that. Uh, I mean, I I literally did look at every individual piece and I couldn't see a damn thing wrong with it. It's quite weird. Quite weird. But that's a, certainly... A, yeah, you could be right, actually, arcing. It's a good point. <coughs> Uh, Salford recovering from yesterday. What did he do yesterday? <laughs> no, it's another boring day. Uh, John, Mark Chat paying killers kicking. Yeah, okay, and John. John often disappears early doors. Oh, I say early doors before the end. Uh, his painkillers kick in. He he gets sleepy. I think. Uh, good night, John, and hope you feel feel better um, all the time. It continued improvement, that's what you want. Uh, question to all. Let's put Iggy's comment up there. Question to all. Everyone favourite tank. Mine today is Watofo Serpent SMM. Uh, Serpent, what's that? Serpent Mini. Favourite tank. Are you talking favourite? I suppose it can be anything, can it? Stock coil, rebuildable, whatever you like. 
whether it's mouth to lung, direct lung, whatever. Yeah, we'll have a favourite tank. Well, we know that the <laughs> the tripod will be on there. Um, Zeus X, yeah, it's a good tank. Asphodel, very good tank. Evening Chunk, my old mate Diesel. <laughs> Someone wrote on the comment when Chunk was on the show that he sounded like an old Diesel. So I call him Perkins. <laughs> um, yeah, people saying hello to Chunk. Andy Harris, well I've got to put that on the screen, haven't I? <laughs> you Mitchell, easy, true tank. <laughs> Um, it's the only one I own. Oh my word, a Restoradio. Wow, that's, that's... You're definitely in the minority there, I would say, Andy. Um, as people... Mine's the Verena. Mine's the Peacemaker. 25 mm single coil RTA. Yeah. <laughs> Junk. Oi, oi, Mark. Uh, saying goodnight to John. <laughs> Sulfur and Dean having a chat in chat. I just keep reading it and then realise what they're doing. <laughs> Flashy Vape is an old school German monster atty. Um, Dean. Favourite stock coil, EH Pro Raptor, UL Valerian. Um, I've got the Raptor, Dean. And I think it's downstairs. I tried it at Expo. I thought it was really good. Um, it was one of those weird tanks. I never got offered it. Despite how well I get on with EH Pro, they didn't offer it to me. Which is a bit odd. Uh, they can be a funny company at times. Um, but I, they have since sent me a sample to order them. But I thought, oh, I've missed the boat now. It's it's old. But, yeah, I, I must try it. I haven't tried it. I haven't set it up. There's, I've got one here. Favourite RTA, the Rebirth RTA for Dean. Um, Favourite RDA, the Recurve. <laughs> Hang on. Dean, sponsored by Recurve. I'm, the interesting thing, I haven't seen any Tony B recommendations for these tanks. <laughs> Has he made anything this week? I haven't, I haven't seen much in the way of news this week. Dean, you would get negative viewers on here if I come on, lol. <laughs> negative? I don't think we would at all. You know we wouldn't. Um... And Merck, well, Merck doesn't... Oh, worst RDA recurve. There you go. We well, see, we all like different things, don't we? Uh, I've got the... I've got to call it the Dwarf again. V2 in male. Steam tuners. Vazillion clone. Vazillion? Vazillion clone. Never got into bottom fill tanks, but since this is top fill, decided to give it a go. Do you have any... Do you have... I guess that's any experience or advice about it, please. Um, no, I don't. Um, no, not on that. I'm sorry, Croatia, I don't. And we're going to forgive Croatia or his English because he's not English. And, uh, you know, <laughs> to, to write that is fantastic. You know, from someone who's not from this country, I think it's brilliant. And Chunk prefers the original recurve. Not a fan of the jewels. It seems to get very hot. Um, although I've been testing it, I'm going vape RDA, and that's been pretty all oh, right. Okay, and then there's the people arguing in chat now. I'm gonna have a vape while they're having a, having a <laughs> debate in chat about what the best tank is. Oh, and I said the other week, um, I had it here, didn't I? I think it's downstairs now. I still I love the Helixa. Always have. That's one of my favourite RTAs ever. Um, really good. Uh, Stephen Hillier. J 
just bought your Bakewell tart. How long steep time do you recommend? It doesn't need masses of time, that Stephen. Um, I guess ideally a week, I would think, and you'll be, you'll be fine. And I hope you like it. Come back and tell us. That'd be nice to nice to hear. Merc like the Asgard Mini RDA. I mean, there are so many um, <laughs> junk. <laughs> And name him Shane Chunk here. <laughs> Tony B is <laughs> B is for Bin where it ends up. Chunk, I was on Chunk's show. Um, uh, I gave him a, a look. When was that? When's his show, Chunk? Can't remember now. Um, I lose tracks of the days. And I was telling him about this smock. And this, if you weren't on earlier, Chunk, this is it here. The, the with the pod. Um, it's it's really good. Oh, I have to wait for it to accept its pod. Oh, you're joking, aren't you, Dean? Tony B has just released the diadic with the tofu. <laughs> Goodness sake. Um, oh, yeah, and Pav, there's a dual battery squonk from Tony B now. <sighs> He, he must have some pencil, that's all I can say. I think design and get all these things to market this quick. I mean, it's just, it's laughable really, isn't it? I think, laughable. Uh, Verena, call my word, Verena. That, that's a blast from the past, that is. Um, I once bought the MV17 from your site. Are there any actual affordable side-by-side -side mods out there we can put in a bigger RTA with more power? Um, yeah, because we have the MV17 and the MV22, which I designed with a company, I can't remember their name. God, that was ages ago, ages and ages ago. And I remember having to buy so many of them to get them to make it. And then they royally shafted me as well. Then it got off to, sent to the States, and some other company claimed that I'd taken the first version, then they'd got the ones that were all sorted out or something and i thought it was my product i designed it you cheeky bucker so but anyway yeah that things like that happen but the answer to your question side by side there's expensive ones um like the one that oh god i had on that's oh, not here oh god what's that called can't remember why stick but that is that is very expensive. Well, there's this one that I I haven't got it, but you'll find it on the China sites. It's from SXK. That's a 22 mil tank on their 18650 battery. There is no charge port, nothing like that. It's just a power button, and that's got the gate tank on it. So have a little vape on that one. You'll find that somewhere like 3F Vape, uh, and it's it's a clone of the uh, Sunbox, RSS Mods Sunbox. So if you like that, uh, try and hold it up so you can see it a bit better. It's a bit of a weird one, but it's actually quite nice to vape with. I think it's more of a bit of a blokey one, I think. I don't know. So hopefully I've answered your question. <laughs> I thought this was pronounced the dire dick. <laughs> this was <pronounced> dietic. <laughs> yeah, well you you would Dean. You you got a bit of a fixation, I think. <laughs> oh dear. Tony B Kong, you mentioned in your comment. Oh dear, right, okay, Tony B, what did I bring up Tony B, oh, and I didn't realise he bought out another product, good God, unbelievable, oh, hang on, no, he's put his signature to another product, that's right, um, Merck, don't forget the Drop RDA, all day solid fog creator, cheap too, yeah, have I tried the Drop, did I try the Drop, I can't remember now, try so many, 
<laughs> Iggy, I hear that Tony B is releasing the Art Read Pal. <laughs> What's that, seven? <laughs> Expert tomorrow, yeah. It's, it's just... Oh. <laughs> Manic, I was designed by Tony B. <clears throat> Uh, and oh, Kieran, he's still got my MV22. I've still got one. Oh, I've got two or three actually. And they, they actually, after the MV22, they did something which I asked them to do in the beginning was put a removable 18650 battery to it. And they said they couldn't. And then they did make that and they sent me a sample of it. But by then, they'd annoyed me so much by spreading it all around the world when I was supposed to have it exclusively. Um, that I didn't buy it but yeah I've got one of them somewhere as well um, oh it's not, not far off catching up <laughs> thank you Mark I'll have a look yeah I mean it's I think it's quite nice depends how tall your tank is do you want to know how tall this part is Marina Let's have a give you a rough idea, rough guesstimate. Um, thirty about thirty seven mil, thirty seven millimeters, from there to there. So if you're trying to use it with a twenty two mil tower, I don't think it will take a, it. Might take a twenty three, a push. I haven't tried it, but it certainly won't take any more. And that's the height of your, your tank you're looking at from there to there. There's also an adjustable, like an Allen key for the 510, which is quite nice because like in this case, can you see the airflow I've got right in that corner? I've I managed to turn the adjuster in the 510 so that the airflow wasn't getting covered by my finger because it was in that corner. God, I've got some things go, coming on here now. It's called the SXK Stealth. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Matt. SXK Stealth uh, on 3F Vape. I don't even know how much it is, but I don't, I don't think it's that expensive. And, you know, I've used mine for a, a few days. Quite nicely finished. It's all right. But a bit annoying. You have to unscrew the bottom to get your 18650 out. There's also, I don't know if I should tell you this, there's going to be another stealth mod coming out fairly soon. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's a company I deal with quite a lot, quite well. So I should have a prototype of that before it's released. There you go. You might be able to guess who it's from then. Coda Smith, hey, you're really cute. <laughs> Talk about me or someone in chat. <laughs> cute. I don't think I've been referred to as cute, if it is about me. <laughs> don't think so. Let, oh, let, no, I think they're... In, they're <laughs> is this like a date in, in chat or something? Let me know if you're local. <laughs> that's, a, that's a man you are. I don't know what they're on about. Something in chat, I would guess. Um, Chunk has gone back to the Recoil Rebel. Oh, did you, Lynn? Lynn just got my first custom charge on a mod bought from China. I think they are tightening up on that. I do think they are. Um, so, yeah, I think you're going to find that quite a lot more in the in the weeks and months to come. I don't know what this in chat is. Would you respond? <laughs> What's that all about? <laughs> Can I buy an audio of your voice? I'd love to listen to it every night to fall asleep too. I don't know. Is that to me? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Someone did say that um, my voice... What did they say? I should be on the, like these calming... Um, tapes or something they found it really calming so yeah maybe it is to some people i don't know i do remember once 
in a job I was years ago. Um, the phone rang. At, I'm digressing here, but I'll tell you. Phone rang about ten to six, and I just thought I've had enough for one day. I want to go, and you know I was working for a company, and and I said I'm sorry, mate. I can't help you. I'm just a cleaner, so I could get him off the phone. <laughs> And he came to see the manager the next day and he said, oh, you, you sound remarkably like the cleaner. So I didn't realise my voice was that distinctive, but obviously it is. We've been visited by the Muppet Show. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know if we've been... Um, we have got a spanner on, on the site, if, uh, but, you know, no one, no one's... Um, no one's saying anything too untoward, are they? Let, let them carry on. Helps with insomnia, maybe. So there you go. Uh, I think they're trolls. Yeah, well, Coda Smith, um, you know, we run a nice little chat here. If you just come to make fun, then, you know, we'll, uh, we will get you spannered by Lynn. So leave it to you, Lynn. I'll let you make a judgment call. You're the spanner. You're in charge. Right. Well, I think we're, we're rapidly approaching that time. I think... The main key points of tonight's show that I wanted to tell you about is that there won't be a show next week um, and the website will be shut for a week next week. So if you do want to order anything, coils, juice or anything like that that you need, get it in before this Friday lunchtime and then it will get sent to you as normal. Hopefully our new site, the transition will be painless for us. Um, you know, it's... It is a big, it's a big thing to do because we're, you know, there's so many products and things on there now. Everything's got to be lifted and put onto the new format. And that's going to cause problems with extensions and, and different things of that sort. So, yeah, but hopefully it will go through painlessly. Um, as everyone knows me, any problems, I'm here to sort them out anyway. So, you know, that will be done. Um, yeah, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Asphodel. Yeah, I'm hoping it's it's gonna gonna go well as well, and it should should mean the new site will be quicker. Uh, it will mean hopefully that the perhaps the pictures will be better. There'll be extra facilities on there to get a, you know an email or something if you're interested. If something's out of stock, get an email when it arrives in stock. Things of that sort. So um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's just going to be very time consuming and obviously we can't do anything while the site site's open so you know I'm, I'm fortunate that i'm not the techie guy but i'm got you know <laughs> thank god for that <laughs> but anyway right so i think that was all i don't think i've forgotten anything i usually hit the hit the end button and i think oh why didn't i mention so on so i meant to so this yeah the site just to let me just have a quick look and tell you the dates are on here. Scroll back. The 6th. Yeah, it's actually 10, 10 days possibly um, that the site will be off. From the 6th to the 16th. So, yep, yeah, there you go. And I'll put a note on Facebook about that. Hopefully, um, we'll be sending out an email to tell people as well. So, and and on Twitter, you know, just to... But if anyone, you know, hears anyone saying that what's happened to Nature Vape, you'll, you will know the answer. So, by all means, anyone in chat that hears that and wants to reply, just say it's site upgrade. All right. So, thanks ever so much, everyone in chat, for watching. Thank you for all your support. Um, like I say, I was absolutely gobsmacked how many views that that smock product got on. And it's when you get views like that, it, makes, it seems to make the whole thing worthwhile. It's like people are finding what you've got to say useful, and it's it's great. So until Tuesday week, um, I'll, I'll sign off. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's just normal. Thanks to everyone. That's brilliant. That's, that's nice and thanks for your good wishes for the site that's lovely so until tuesday week bye for now take care thanks for tuning in bye now